boots on the ground, putting it down, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best selling researcher Mickey D. I host The Scoop, aka The Baby Knockout Goat. What are baby knockouts? Baby knockouts are those small micro cap companies that our research indicates that they can dominate the competition and be number one and possibly go up like some of them have for us in the past. No, guys, we've been doing this since the dot coms. So we've been doing this for years. Uh, not only did we hit them during uh, the first marijuana phase up there in Canada, but we hit them, uh, you know, just recently here in Bitcoin and and we're, we're going to hit them in gold and silver and lithium uh, and uranium. We're going to hit these, these stocks, guys. But today we have a special guest today. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Many have asked about the condition of my mom, Mama D there. Uh, and we're going to check with her and see how uh, she's doing. Um, as you guys can recall, it was roughly... Uh, le last March, so it's been just uh, a year and a month uh, or so uh, since my mom was going to church one Sunday morning and she had a brain aneurysm and she got emergency surgery and by the grace of God, she's here today to, to uh, talk to us. She's had a, a great recovery. She's really working her way back. Uh, she's doing some exercises now, and uh, things are starting to get back to normal a little bit for her. But as you guys know, uh, anyone with with any brains would know brain surgery is not a walk in the park. But while I was over there, I did manage to uh, do research on a couple different companies. So we did we did have some uh, a harvest over there, guys. Bright Rock Gold, remember. 12 to 50, back to 12, now up to 50 again. Uh, that's Bright Rock Gold and Arizona Silver, which was about a quarter then. Also, it's going to do well for us, we believe, in the long run. And those were the two companies that when I was out there uh, spending time in between taking care of being a good son, taking care of mom, right? Uh, I did research on uh, those two companies and did, did a lot of research uh, while I was there and uh, those two companies, uh, those two baby knockouts are two that, that we will continue to hold uh, for for a minute, uh, I believe, in, in my opinion. Like at, at 12 cents, uh, put it in the newsletter, and uh, we've since done videos on it. And uh, Arizona uh, Silver also uh, is doing uh, going to do its thing. So without uh, any uh, further delays, I would like to thank those people, though, that, that weighed in. And there were so many people, and, and I can't get everybody's name, but but Mark, Nathan, Glenn, Dexter, Shalom, Harmel, across the pond there, Gregory, Ranisha, uh, YC, Tim, Philip, Lato, Astral, MMJ, uh, D, uh, Erez, uh, Robert, uh, Pam, uh, Tia, Renee, there were so many people, guys, that uh, that checked in. Uh, April, Maddie, uh, Random Mexican. There were so many people that checked in just to see how Miles was doing. That's why I really wanted to give you uh, an update. And there were so many family members and all. I really want to give you guys an update here. And uh, without uh, any further delay, uh, let's have uh, Mama D. Thanks once again for joining us, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, make sure you hit uh, like uh, and uh, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, we're going to have a lot, a lot of shows coming up. Uh, joining us on the line here, we're having some technical difficulties, but uh, Mama D, as I was telling you, that uh, uh, she uh, was in uh, bad shape there at one point in time, but she is doing a lot, lot better now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, when, when this occurred, when we had the, when she had the aneurysm on her way to church, um, pick, pick it up from there, Mama D. I'm, I'm kind of being distracted a little bit, but just, just tell us, how are you doing right now? I'm doing good right now. I, I don't have any pains in my head. I don't have any swelling or anything in my head. I went and 
did my checkup. I have to go back to, that went good. I have to go back to my doctor in a year. And if that goes good, then the next checkup will be in five years. He <laughs> won't see me after this year for five years if, if everything goes good. Excellent. So I'm, I'm doing really, really good. Excellent. I'm so, I am so blessed. Yes, amen. You, you uh, when you got out of that surgery, they called you the miracle, uh, you know, miracle patient because they said they had never, uh, ever where the aneurysm was, they had uh, uh -huh. very few people uh, survive that, and they said they had never had anyone that had survived it. So that's a blessing, and uh, uh, it's great. We, we, on the next video, we will see you. But now we're just looking at your, your face and mine of the last interview. And I'll, I'll leave that up so everybody can see it if they want to see the last video that we had. But I, I'm glad you're doing well and, and everyone has been asking about you and we're glad you're doing well. We did want to ask a little bit though about the, the last great minor in the family, which was your uh, brother, my uncle, Carl. And, and I remember well, when I was younger, I remember, you know, us, uh, him buying you a car to get to work and, and do things like that because he had the real money. He was the real miner. You know, he was in the real miner in the family. He had the money. And uh, I remember, you know, going and picking him up from work. And he was really, you know, mining is a dirty, dirty job. What? Did, would you you wash a lot of his clothes, your brother's clothes, or what, what, how'd you handle that? Well, we have to wash a lot of his clothes, my mom and myself. Mm -hmm. And it is a really dirty job, but the pay is really good. He made really good money. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, he, and he did really, really well mining, and he mined for a long time. It was over it was a really long time. You're saying it was over 25 years he was a miner, huh? Yeah, it was over 25 years. That, that's yes, tough. That's that's tough. That told you what we're made of. We're made of toughness. Baby knockouts, we're made of toughness. Mark, tell me. Tell, now, he was down under underground for like a mile or so. I remember him telling me he was down... Do you remember uh, him him telling you how far it was how far down he was when he was in the uh, in the mine? He was down. It was over a mile that he was he was down. You know they yeah. would have to go down, and I guess yes. it was a hole that they go yes. down in. Yes, yes, they go down the and they elevator. They just little cart and go on to the job that they was going to do that day. Right. He'd be a mile down. I mean, 25 years of that and stuff. And 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 I was telling uh, my uh, subscribers also that I remember my uncle losing uh, a finger. And you said it was actually more than that. Yeah, he lost about four fingers. Wow. I mean. Yeah, he did. This, was, this is mining, guys. This is not... Uh, computer work of today. This is the real deal. The, these, the old school miners, the real OGs, you know. I, you know, admittedly, uh, I don't know if I can handle that today. What do you think about today's youth? Can today's youth handle a real job like that? I don't know. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty rough. I, you know, I don't want to say yeah, and I don't want to say no, but yeah. it would be pretty rough for some of the young kids nowadays to handle something like that because that was a, a dirty job and anything could happen to you when you was in there. Yeah, it's dangerous. You know, anything could have happened to you, so it would be pretty rough on a young person. Yeah, you know, 
you remember, I know you and, and dad, and we're going to have dad on too, uh, were concerned about me when I was, you know, overseas on the aircraft carrier and things were happening. We have fires or what have you. People would get, get killed. I know you guys were concerned about me, but that's nothing like uncle and the mining and being underground like that. Yeah, you're right. Anything could happen. And we're just thankful that that uh, he didn't get trapped down there or any, any of that stuff going on like today. Mm-hmm. But, yes, that is so true. He didn't get trapped. But, yeah. you know, so many things happen to people when they on the ground like that. Like, right. It's really bad, you know, but, I mean, it's a job. Right. It's a job, and it's a tough job, and it's a good-paying job. It's a so. tough job. It's a good-paying job. So... All you can do is just pray that everybody be safe. Yeah. Another there. That's, that's all you can do. That's right. Every day. Every day. Now, when when we were on last, you also mentioned, uh, uh, when we were a few months back, you said that your, uh, it was about roughly nine months or so ago, you said that you like gold and silver. So, do you still like those there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I have my gold and my silver. I thought so, because they're doing very well right now, and that's really good. And and a lot of people see uh, this with what's going on in the banking system and what's going on in the the, uh, the money uh, system here. They see gold and silver being uh, those safe bets that will be good for years to come. So, you you long-term yeah, holder? I'm trying to help I want to have oh, your mouth moving. Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, Mom D, I don't want to keep you, and but we thank you for coming on and giving us an update. And for all the people that were asking, we know now that you're doing better. And uh, God bless you, and and we hope everything goes well for you. Thank you, yeah. and I thank everybody for asking about me and being concerned about my health. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. You, I'll give you a love big, you, baby. Love you too. Big healthy. Uh, thank you from all the scoop uh, subscribers and all the scoop team members. Love you. Okay. Right. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you once again for joining me. Uh, as you can see, Mama D is well, and she's doing doing uh, really good with her uh, recovery from her aneurysm and her emergency brain surgery. Guys, you take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful uh, week. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. Uh, I'll be at a conference this week, uh, but I will be checking with you. Also, I'll be checking uh, with the uh, our trade with gold and silver, and we'll be following up on uranium. No problems, guys, as long as the prices stay above uh, those levels that we've been talking about. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. I'll show you guys some stuff from the uh, from the store. A lot of you guys haven't been to the uh, store and got some of that swag. As soon as your baby knockouts start doing really, really well, you're going to want to get some of that swag. There's a link to the Scoop store when in the description area. All you got to do is hit that link, and then you can go get you some swag, some of the products, some of the things there. Ladies, you got all kinds of stuff here. You got the tote bags, you got the hoodies, you got the shirts, you can get the mugs, uh, whatever it is you like, you can get you a hat, you can get you whatever it is you like, guys. Love you, God bless you, take care of you and your family. Have a great, great rest of the trading week.